Good morning, Monday morning update. I'm gonna show you what's happening here on the farm today. So what I'm going to start with is, this is the compost pile if you've been following over the last couple of weeks. The chickens have been turning this over. The chickens aren't in here now, but they will be probably in a week from now. Let me show you where the chickens are. So the chickens are there. They've sort of moved across this ground here, over to there and then they're gonna come around this pile of sticks and they're gonna come back to the compost pile where I am standing. So they're the layers and the rooster. I'll show you the other little projects I've got going here. So in here I have a hen and is she gonna show me what's underneath or is she gonna peck me? There's little baby chickens under there. They've only just hatched, so we might see them tomorrow or something. So they're the baby chickens. She wants to protect them. It's great uh, hatching the, the baby chickens under a hen. I really like it for the kids, so they can see like how nature works and how easy it is. You just put the fertile eggs under, the hen looks after them, and they can watch the process of them growing up. This little one behind me, she is the hen that hatched some chickens, I think it was last week. Let's go have a look at her. So there she is. She's got three chickens there. She's got a black one and two white ones, I think. They might be hiding around this side. There they are. So she's teaching them how to scratch through the grass and they're having a great time. So I think they're about, about eight days old. There she is. She's like, this is how we scratch and find food and she's got her food and water. Let's swing around here. This is the e-coop with the mesh sides on it. These are the nine roosters I'm growing out. I love it, see, they're on grass. And you can see that one over there, it's actually eating grass. So if anyone says chickens don't eat grass, show them this rooster, there he is, he's, he's eating the grass. So th they're growing out nicely. I will bring you over to these ones. So these are the layers. I've got a couple of roosters in there. And as you can see, if you followed some of the other videos, this has all been mown. So I've been away for a few days, but I wasn't stressed at all because I've got big feeders, I've got big drinkers, it's all automated. And I just had someone come in once a day just to check things. They didn't need to, they didn't need to fill up feeders or drinkers and uh, the mower man's been in and um, trimmed all this grass down a bit because chickens prefer shorter grass. I don't have any sheep or anything at the moment, but the mower man, AKA my dad, has just got his rod on lawnmower fix, so I think he's been keen to trim all the grass down, which is gonna be good because chickens prefer short grass. So this, this coop is going to come around here and then it's gonna go back to the compost pile that's over under, under the trees just there. They're gonna scratch, scratch through that. But look at them, they're on grass, scratching around. There's the nesting box. Oh, look at that, you can see under there there's a few little eggs. There's a couple of hens in there. They're the big feeders. As I said, I've been away for three or four days. Didn't stress one bit, because I know I've got water drinkers set up and they're separate systems so even if one leaks out they've got a backup system i've got heaps of feed like that's one of the feeders and this is the other feeders so they've got heaps of feed in there so they've been doing great guns this is the chickens were just moved from here just this morning i need to do a video of me moving so that's where the coop sat for a few days so it's got lots of manure and such there it was few days before so they've scratched all that manure into the ground and then tomorrow I'm going to move this fence just behind it there and then it's going to start having recovery time so there you go there's a, a quick bit of an update of what's going on on this beautiful Monday morning you have a great day thanks for watching